Hey, this is Al from Transformational Gaming, where we transcend above the fray to bring you the truth in gaming. By now you heard the rumors from Reset from a guy named Clobrill. And I'm not going to go through the whole article and talk about all the things that in the article. I do want to mention uh, some of the games that are notable, but I'm not going to go into all of the theories of how he was able to hack into Microsoft API and all of that other stuff. I don't want to really get into all of that. The thing I really want to talk about is the games. Namely, and not in this order, but Perfect Dark, Fable, Age of Empires, Crackdown 3, Sea of Thieves, Halo, Perfect Dark, and Fable. Now there may be some other games that I left out, but for the most part, those are the games that he was talking about. And Really, I don't want to talk about them individually, um, and I don't even want to talk about the quality. Uh, it should be noted that none of these games, at least Crackdown and Sea of Thieves, do not push the Xbox One X, which I know is probably a signal when the Xbox One was going to fail. And that's not necessarily the truth. Um, you know, I, I consider Xbox One X a failure. Uh, in a sense that it's not able to deliver on all of the stuff they said it was going to do, uh, which is basically 4K uncompromised, uh, which was a big deal from what Phil Spencer was saying. And I'm not going to necessarily hold it against them. I mean, you got to be able to sell the product at some point. Uh, you have to be able to get it out there to the public. But before I really go into all of that, uh, I would like to pause for a little bit and ask you to please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm trying to get better at every day at recording. I'm not the best recording artist <laughs> or anything like that. So um, this recording stuff has really been difficult for me. And I'm trying to get myself better and I'm trying to be able to be able to talk into this mic and not talk to really anyone else but pretend like I am and then upload this so that you can actually hear me talking to myself so but anyway uh, subscribe to the channel comment like so let's talk about it so the main issue is not what I described earlier by crackdown basically looking like it's able to be able to be played on the switch but <laughs> that's not it the real issue is is that it looks like Microsoft is setting up a pay for play type of scenario all these games look like really they can be played online there's different characters that you can choose from and now I don't have any insight onto Microsoft and you know I can't promise you that I'm going to buy these games but they all look like some type of four player co-op some type of situation where you have to pay for different skins for whatever character you want um, and let me kinda go down the list so for like a game like Crackdown 3 for example it seems like you can play four player co-op or whatever but it looks like that you can pay for a different skin it looks like you can pay for different weapons or whatever you know um, also see if these look like it's in the same boat it looks like you can be able to pay for different character customizations and just different things different boats or whatever I don't know the game so I don't have any insight again but you know it looks like they're going in that direction and it seems like now when I see stuff like leaks or whatever you know I don't think stuff happens on accident anymore I mean people put fillers out there to see what's the general reception is going to be like and that's kind of what I'm thinking they're going with I don't think this is some accidental leak that some guy has access to Microsoft API or whatever this doesn't seem like that this seems like something that Microsoft has planted want to get fillers on how the products and how the reception would be for these type of games and how they're going to be received and how much money they ultimately going to make from this cuz see here's my thing they're all about making money and again you can go to various YouTube channels and they've broken down how 
all of this pay for play stuff is going to you know make billions of dollars and how it's made other companies billions of dollars and how it's going to stay you know I always listen to the no and they always talk about how you know this type of structure is going to stay in video games uh, which is why I'm <laughs> pro Sony because they do it but they haven't done it for necessarily any of their exclusives so it seems like they're kind of staying away from it or at least taking the back and making sure that that's not the role they want to go by they're going for the art and stuff like that but for Microsoft it seems like this is a little different it's just like this is something that they want to do it looks like this is something they want to go down this is a payment arrangement this is a style that they want to impugn to the customers and things like that so I don't know about that because I'm not sure implementing a style that almost every game that comes out has a pay for play type of structure to it it just doesn't really look like that that's something the customers are wanting you can see the backlash from EA and how their game was received and we're not going to necessarily go down that today because I don't want to really make a long video but I do want to bring awareness to what I think and I think that this is nothing more than a way for Microsoft to get fillers out there to see how the customers feel about their products and what games they think is building up the most excitement which exclusives that they've had in the past that seem to generate the most excitement and you know uh, looks like I was somewhat wrong uh, I'm not want to say that you know I was dead wrong about all the engineers and developers working on backwards compact it looks like they are working on games now they may not be the games that we want <laughs> but at least they're working on games uh, I can't promise that I'm excited about it I don't I'm not excited about none of these maybe perfect dark because uh, none of these games really seem like they're pushing the Xbox One X which is what I want to see you know uh, because I get sad when I see games like Quantum Break with a resolution of about 900p I mean come on this is the Xbox One X man and you guys can only get that thing up to 900p <sighs> my goodness man uncompromised yeah yeah right <laughs> but anyway um, that's just about it for today um, if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to the channel do me a favor hit me up with a like uh, I've been getting comments in the comment section so uh, feel free to join in and any of those comments that you think is relevant or hit me up on Twitter I'm always there uh, looking at some of the things that are up and uh, communicating with some of the gaming community and uh, that's just about it this is Al from Transformational Gaming, over and out.